So we have a fourth person up here. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? It's Drew. Drew. Hi, how, Drew. How are you, Drew? Drew, this is the Semi Perfect NPOS podcast panel, and you are welcome to stay up here if you'd like to. <laughs> Sounds like me, Semi. <laughs> All right, let's do it then. <laughs> we are semi-perfect after all. Yep. So we started our semi-perfect podcast back in August of 2015 or something like that. Around then, yeah. And then the it was just after Brody. And it, which is a ripoff of the POS podcast, which is a ripoff, which we started, of, uh, which is a ripoff of Brody Breakdown. Yeah. Right, because the POS the break, podcast yeah. is based the break off, the which is a break off of Jay Leno, which is a break off of Cave Drawings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a derivative episode. Ooh, that looks like a, you waited until we started to start eating your Snickers. I like that. <laughs> okay, show started. All right, so they're awful podcasts. Don't watch. Them. <laughs> so you got that out of the way. Let's do some Q and A. Is there anyone here who tunes in regularly for either of those? Bobby's guy. What's your name? So yeah, okay, I forget everyone's name. Name? Tell everyone your name. My name is. My name is Trevor. Mm. Trevor. Lunar Gamer four five eight, but I go by Lunar because that's too long a name. And who are some other hand out there? Don't be shy. Well, it's we know Kestrel was one. Kestrel. Kestrel helps us out on Kestrel the Kestrel or No, the I have two He's the guy guys. that everyone in the chat has to like hide from Next while they're <laughs> being bad. Um, so okay, so we have a number of people who don't uh, yell at regularly watch. As far as the POS podcast, uh, when does that air? It airs at uh, 9 p.m. every other Monday. Normal yeah. time. Yeah. And then, yeah, normal time, which is Eastern. Okay. And then, uh, <laughs> normal time. Uh, and then the Semi Perfect right. Podcast, which is a more MLP driven show, uh, so it's better, uh, is <laughs> it's Saber and I. And Paleo hops on from time to time, but that's on Wednesday nights at 6 p.m. Pacific time. Or 9 p.m. for the normal. Time. normal time. It's, um, no, we have fun. We shoot the breeze. We have other, for the semi perfect podcast, we have his girlfriend Sarah. She joins some time. Uh, well, she used to join just a little bit and then she became a permanent member. Uh, we have Hannah Mom Matt, who's a decent addition. And then Paleo, once again, pop in every so often. For the POS podcast, to start off as um, myself, Paleo, um, yeah, tell them about Jim. Yeah. Well, then we had uh, Tom join on. Did, was Tom, before, was Jim, he was one of the originals, I thought. What? On the POS podcast. Who? Jim. <laughs> well, not the guy. The POS podcast. podcast. Yes. The podcast. Yes, the Jim. podcast. He's on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From the start. Not the very start. The next 45, no, episode, episode 50 10. minutes is going to be the next. Episode 10 you showed up? Yeah, episode he, 10. He, he wasn't planned from the beginning? No, not the, from, from the beginning. Shows how much I've punched you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, yeah. then uh, we have Jim. Uh, he is not from the MLP fandom. He did, like, movie reviews on his own channel. And... Paleo met him and he joined us. He's great. Like yeah. I've never met anybody who knows more about movies than this guy. Like like everything. Yeah, he knows quite a lot. What does he think of Zootopia? <laughs> <laughs> I had to ask. Okay, he knows everything. I'm glad he to that. I, I can respect this Jim guy. I've never met him at all. Well, we haven't met him in person. Yeah, either. we really want him to come well, to a convention. He's from uh, New York, so maybe Bernie Con might happen. Yeah. Well, he's no, he's from Baltimore. <laughs> Yeah. That increases our odds. Yeah. Right. And then there's Tommy Oliver, who uh, yeah. kind of went off to do his own thing, but he still does the podcast with us every so often. So, yeah. Yeah. And we just shoot the breeze, talk about, you know, for our podcast, MLP episodes and other things, and then movies. Yeah, movies and entertainment news in general, muscle cartoon stuff. And then usually yeah. more often than a half of our podcast will be made up of Q&A. Which is exactly what we're going to do for this panel. I mean, discussion, anything that you know you guys want to talk about or whatever. Anything, absolutely. There's a mic too. You can this, even speak into. Kestrel's raising his hand. This is a he's super, already modding. He's yeah, actually, he's already sit down. <laughs> this is a super chilled out panel. Was that? Should we just go ahead and blow up the Twitter feed too? <laughs> Look, I can't get a connection down here. Everybody snap pictures. Of Wait, let me see. <laughs> oh, so that's one thing we do on the Semi Perfect Podcast. It's, it's the most uh, annoying thing as an editor who doesn't. He hates it. <laughs> oh, it's so hard to I hate it. read pictures. Uh, what we do is we have our. No, you edit the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you do. But no, the uh, the Semi Perfect Podcast. We start out each episode. We have people submitting what they're eating because it's around dinner time 
with the, the podcast in the background. Completely unprofessional. And it's it's terrible on my end because I encourage it, yet I haven't eaten dinner yet. And I'm like, oh, this stuff looks so good. Or sometimes we're like, what is that? Yeah, I got ever get another water from the restaurant? I'm sorry, I'm going to get some water. <laughs> Water. Oh my god! What? <laughs> Every time we turn around, this fine lady just keeps like, here's what you need. It's like, you know what? I left my wallet in the room. <laughs> Any cash? Uh, Where's you. my uranium? <laughs> mm, thank you. So yeah, the uh, the like we said, if you guys have any kind of discussion thing you want to talk about, we we can hammer it away. By all means. I'm still I'm still enjoying our fourth person up here. He's just like, <laughs> tell us about yourself. I'm a male. <laughs> he had light up sunglasses and it, it warranted stay for saying here, stay for the whole. What was it? Your name is, uh, what was it again? Drew. Drew. We, we know some good Drews. Drew, do you come from Illinois? No. From Michigan. <laughs> Michigan? That's the northern state, right? Detroit. What's it like? You're from Detroit? God. Is it true what they say? Pretty much. Wow. I can't be walking around all flashy like this. Why not? And scare people, intimidate them. Who gets stabbed? No, that's true. Well, you bring up a good point. Huh. All right, Q and A. Do it. So yeah, so literally, guys, anything you want to discuss or talk about, don't be shy. No questions, a bad question. Unless it's like a bad question, a really bad question. I, I knew she was going to be the first one to stand up. <laughs> Maybe y'all want to just shout it out from your chair too. Yeah, whatever works. We'll repeat the question. But the, the mic's more fun. What's your name? Like what? What? <laughs> um, so, who would you rather face in a battle, Pink Amina or Mod Pie? Mm. Well, what, what's the, uh... Um, the only question, like, related to this convention she's asked so far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, unless you count the horses one. That's kind of related. I like your questions, because I love these who would win questions a lot. Actually, oh, if our Q&A slows down, no, it wasn't who slows, would win. It's who would if win our Q&A slows down, I'm actually going to pull up some who would wins and ask you all who you think would win fights. Wave, wave at Daryl. Daryl! Wave at Daryl. Good to see you again. Hey, Daryl. Um, I I would prefer to fight Mod Pod. What is what, No, no, no. What are the what are, what's the arena? You what don't. Are the you don't what are the arena? She what asked a weapon? simple question. It was just what? a simple. This is also what happens no, on I, the podcast no, from time well, to time. Is that he's typically wrong, and then I have to correct him. Sorry, he's still Zootopia bound, and he can't think straight. All right. So um, what is the what is the arena, and what are the weapons? The arena is a mountainous area, oh. lots of rocks, no weapons. See, you had to throw rocks in the. Well, Mod Pie's gonna win. I'd rather fight Pink Amina. I'd rather fight Pink Amina. Pink Amina scares me. Like, she I would already be down. Is, it, is this the so fan hard. version of Pink Amina or the actual show version? Both scare me. This doesn't change my answer. I'm gonna say fan version. No, I'm, I'm dead. No matter what. <laughs> can, 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 can we compromise? Can we, can we talk it out? Can I find a weapon? For rocks. Um, and then compromise and talk. Yeah. No. No. I'm dead. Because okay. if there was that, exactly, I was like, would you rather fight a grizzly bear or, or a tiger? It's like, well, what would be the, what's the best way for me to die? Am I driving a Ford or a Chevy? <laughs> Go on. What do you think about Zootopia? Oh, why? Wow. It's all right. It's okay. It's fine. I hate this movie. Go on. No, wait, wait. No. There was a question asked. No, you were there for <laughs> I'm, I'm sure a, a number of you were already at our previous I'm panel. Sure but a no, a number of you. What was that? <laughs> I was buffering, clearing my throat, to tell you that Zootopia is my all-time favorite movie ever. Oh, now it is? You said it in the last video. Yeah, when, when wasn't it? No, because like, over the last couple of years, I really like this movie. I love this movie. I think I actually might turn this movie into a religion. <laughs> and I see this progress. When? From the first time I saw this movie, I was obsessed with it. No, you like you were showing the traits of like, yeah, I'm about the soundtrack, I might buy a plushie. And now it's like, you're wearing a bear skin. <laughs> From the previous fight? <laughs> with the tiger? Oh, wrong movie. That's the Jungle Book. Yeah. As you were. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm like obsessed with this movie. Hence why I made a song parody to it. Whenever I get this infatuated with something, be it a movie or show, I typically have to get involved in some way. What and do you like more, MLP or the movie Zootopia? Ooh. I, I honestly would have to say Zootopia right now. Oh, God. 
Like, give it. Don't, don't, don't. Oh, I mean, I can, you like, heard go. Here, folks. <laughs> Everyone's you see like, Chris has left the fence. Huh? Not, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I mean, I love MLP, still do, but, but Zootopia just. You can't love more than one thing at the same time. I didn't say I was going to. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I think I'd have to say Zootopia right now. Zootopia, okay. Mm. What, did, what did you guys think of the movie? No, I love it. Don't spoil it. But don't worry. We we won't. We won't. Surprisingly, we thought the trailers would reveal like everything, but they don't. There's a lot to the movie that they don't reveal. It's good. Yep. It's a good movie. It's a good movie. Zootopia too. Oh, I'm I'm sure we'll see. There, all the directors of Zootopia right now are suffering because everyone's posting all these April Fool's jokes about a second Zootopia being announced, and they're just sitting on Twitter going, "It's not real. It's not real." It's really <laughs> hard because you know making a movie that makes over half a billion dollars, it's really hard for the directors and people in charge. I, I, my, my heart goes out to them and the money they make. <laughs> it's really struggle. Have you asked, you asked the Zootopia question, did you? Or, oh, is that? <laughs> yeah, that was the last question. Thanks a lot. What's your question? All right, my question's actually for Drew. Okay. Are you familiar with the Shea Show and has he rehabbed any houses in your area or maybe like driven by and seen your house in like his video or anything? Video? Shay. He's on YouTube and he talks about... Shay Carl? I don't know his last name. But he talks about rehabbing houses in Detroit and getting them all rented out for some inve investors and stuff. And then uh, going in the houses where squatters are and, and, and scaring away Pookie and Ray Ray as he calls them. No, but he should definitely get on that Flint water. <laughs> I think it takes a little water too. Yeah, I got it. Because my husband watches the Shay show, and I got to ask him to see, uh, like, yeah, if, if Shay's moving out because of the water problem or not. Look it up, Shay. Shay. It's like we find out she is Shay. <laughs> Check out my channel. <laughs> hey. Yes, I've returned. So. Just the fact that you said pretty much like try everything, buy everything, I can ask anything. So <laughs> I will try um, to open up something that is very near and dear to my heart, which is animation. I mean, I study animation. I, my friend and I like study animation. And it's always been one of those things for me. And kind of like you, I was you check out Box Office Mojo and just trying to figure out where Zootopia is, how much is made, almost on a buy, on a buy day basis or so. But yeah. given that we're kind of in a realm where Disney is Disney has kind of crawled its way back up from the stalemate it was in about a decade ago. Yeah, it's back. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. And that was always the big thing for me was, I remember like when, when Disney bought Pixar for $7.4 billion, the Wall Street people were like, they overpaid for Pixar. It's like, dude, they're getting John Lasseter. They're getting Ed Catmull. These guys are going to be in Disney, and they're going to turn it around. And, and now it's like, I'm excited. Like, you're excited. It's like, they, they, they mission accomplished, and we all want to see Disney again. But... In the overall climate of the feature film category, you know, we have, of course we have Disney, we have Pixar, we have DreamWorks, we have Illumination Entertainment that, um, that made Despicable Me, and of course we have, um, we have Blue Sky Studios who just will not stop making Ice Age sequels. <laughs> what, what, yeah, what, 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 what is your general opinion on the state of feature animation? Before, before you answer, I just want to say that you had the perfect question because you spawned about 10 people that just stood up yeah, behind yeah, you yeah, in line. Yeah, you're, you're, you're a father. My, 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 to my, to my, my Toastmaster made work has worked. So, Haley and I... Do you have I, any nail clippers? Like, yeah, yeah. We were talking about oh, this God. a few weeks ago. Yeah. Um, we were talking about, has nostalgia ruined entertainment? Is there too much of the same old, same old? And the amount of movies being made now Eclipse all the movies that were being made back in the like 70s, 80s, and 90s, and there's a lot of more. Yeah, especially when it comes to animation, because uh, mm -hmm. on, like only uh, past uh, this, I guess this millennium, there there have been like, like, I don't know, like seven or eight times as many animated feature films that have been released than there there was in the in the past in the last century. So like feature animation has definitely like. Gone, uh, like we've always had Disney. Oh, like in, in, yeah. There's just a lot more uh, companies out there. For example, um, uh, the the best animated movie category yeah. is very recent in the grand picture, where it was 2001, where DreamWorks yeah. lobbied like, can you guys open a category for just animated movies? That way we can compete 
Because yeah. before, I think it was only three times where a movie... No, not even before. No. One time before. Just one time. It was only one time ever where an animated film was nominated for Best Picture, and that was Beauty and the Beast. Once. And the Oscar started back in like the 1930s or something like that, or 40s? 20s. Even further back. But the animation was still growing. It's still growing. Um, so the current state right now, it's awesome. It's awesome, both for television, for movies. We see a lot more people animating. Uh, the technology's made it more accessible for people to draw, and it makes it easier for them. Uh, and Studio Ghibli just released their uh, software for free. Yeah. So. I think animation's in a great place. I mean, yeah, there are things we can gripe over, but compared to like the early 2000s, ooh, man, we are doing a lot better. And then the Disney revival going on. It's great. You know, I find it interesting too when you look at it. Like with 2D animation, I, it, I think 2D animation aged better than early CG animated movies. <laughs> Uh, if you, you mean for movies? You said movies, right? Movies. Okay. Yeah. yeah, if you go back to like, like I, one example, I, I need to go back to do it, but like I hear like Monsters Inc., for example, if you compare the new one to the old one, you can see how far they've come in their animation with computer generation and all that, that it's like, oh, it, it flows really well. Obviously, storylines and all those live on, but I feel like we're now at, at that stage with computer generated animation. Anyway, CG. CG. Yeah. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, that it's. It's at a stage yeah, I mean, now where it's like, we're, we're there. Like, I can't see us looking at some yeah. of these movies nowadays and going, wow, you can really see but, the texture yeah, different. Right, Te technology changes, though. Yeah, I was, I was going to say that um, the, the good dinosaur, whether you think it's a good movie or not, like... It's beautiful. It, yeah, it's, it's really beautiful. beautiful. There are parts of the movie, because Palo and I are talking about this, where, uh, like, the movie itself, as far as the story and the characters, like, mm, but the backgrounds are at a point where it's like, I can't tell the difference between mm -hmm. real life and if this has been made in a studio. Yeah. yeah, I mean, after a while, the story, I was like, I wasn't born of the story, but after a while, I'm just like, I'm just watching like the light dappling across the water. Mm -hmm. I think we all started doing yeah. that. It's like, like the detail. Yeah, like, the the wheat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, when I first saw it, I was like, is that real? So, yeah, that, we've reached that point now. So. Yeah, that's that's what I mean, though, too. Like, yeah. with 2D animation, I feel like, like, even if you look back to, like, Snow White, you don't necessarily look at it and be like, you can tell this was made a long time ago. But it's funny. I mean, it has features, but... Different styles. I, I think, time. I, yeah, but like CG, you can see the growth. Well, uh, like, okay, we watched The Incredibles not too long ago, and that movie looks quite dated. Where I was like, ooh, man, it looks... Yeah, it doesn't it's, age it's that still, well. It's still pretty good, but like, it's like better than the way yeah. Toy Story was. But it, like... It builds yeah. exponentially. Mm -hmm. Chicken Run, or Little, we watched... Chicken Little, oh my god. <gasps> it looks, it's awful. <sighs> It looks awful. It, it's aged horribly, and it was good to begin with. Yeah. But there was a time where, it, when it came out, it's like it was new enough to where it's like, oh, check it out. It's yeah. Different. But well, the horrible thing was that was Disney's first actual mm -hmm. like official foray into CG, and I just remember like I, I was a projectionist at the time, and I built that print. It was like it was only four reels long. It was like the smallest print I ever built in a movie <laughs> in the movie theater. It's like like King Kong was like nine reels, a huge sucker, and four reels for Chicken Little didn't. Even, didn't even cluck in an hour and a half or so. It was. There I thought you said didn't even cluck in. Yeah, that's I thought it was funny. <laughs> <laughs> he made a chicken joke. But uh, switch off. Animation is great. I think it's doing a lot better. I think it's growing, and it's great to see. I mean, 2D, yeah, not so much anymore. But who knows what the future? Yeah, holds. it's exciting though. Yeah, it really is. But, but I will I, say, like re regarding 2D, there was. Um, did any guys? Does anyone know about the Kickstarter project? There was someone who was doing the Kickstarter what, for like a Steam layer. It, it was like no, oh. uh, not, not the Don Bluth one. There was like a steampunk. Oh, oh yeah, the, I, uh, I actually know. Like, I, I saw yeah. the previews. I think they actually they blew past their goal and they're still yeah. like, working on it or so. But the previews on that, I mean, they're using almost the same software that was used on the Princess and the Frog for yeah. I think like Toon Boom or something like that. But yeah, I forgot the, like the, the motion of it was just like it's like I kind of want to see more of that. Though, but mm -hmm. yeah, I, I think that two D animation might come back at some point in the future because I don't think it'll be completely dead. And if anything, um, like you just said, these Kickstarters, the internet could carry it on. Yeah, because the interesting thing about um, last year, um, when Sponge Out of Water came out, people didn't know that it was going to be mostly 2D. Yeah, that was surprising. Yeah. That was weird. And um, also in 2017, next year, we have the My Little Pony movie, which I'm assuming is going to be 2D. <laughs> and also in the Adventure Time. 4D. <laughs> Live action. <laughs> well, what's interesting is that you see things how they do age. Like um, this isn't related to the animation, but like Starship Troopers. I watched that uh, like a week ago, and those bugs in the movie they still look great to this day. Like I think it takes a lot as a creator to say, how can we make something that's timeless in a way? Because uh, I mean, you never know what the future holds, and that's why 2D I think will always be a very classic because you look at Princess and the Frog or Snow White, and it's like they have their own style. They yeah. they age gracefully. 
versus Chicken Run, or Little. Chicken Run's awesome. Yeah. Chicken Little, where it's like. <laughs> so, great question. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Good luck following that one up. <laughs> Who's gonna win this one? By the way, before we uh, go to the right. next one, um, let's do like a back and forth with uh, this and Twitter because I have a few from from some regulars on our podcast. Okay. Yeah. Um, let's go and get her question first, and yeah, then we'll, we'll go back and forth. Yeah. So far away. Where would you lab rather live, Zootopia or Equestria? Zootopia. Zootopia. Yeah, I'd say Zootopia too. Does <laughs> <laughs> you see what with Equestria? Yeah, Equestria, like every time you turn a corner, it's falling apart because Terry really got back. back. I'm like, oh. We have a great queen who can protect us. Oh, never mind. She's just delegating it to her. I mean, heck, you know, when we can't figure out that bad real estate is where you need this floating heart thing to be spinning around and not get touched, and it's like, oh, we're all going to die. <laughs> this is sacred to our kingdom. It's big exist. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> yeah. So, all right. What's the online? So, um, oh. so Shifro. Hey, Shifro. Um, he asks, uh, will there ever be new, unique changes to either podcast in the future? Huh. Unique changes. We're gonna change it to CG. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> we do want Larson to be yes. Yeah. I think no I think we we we've talked about it. I don't know necessarily for how close we are to doing it, but. Uh, maybe adding in some some interview style stuff into our podcast. That would be the. I keep looking at you, assuming that you're the one who asked the question. Good question. Good question. Um, so I think that's that's probably the biggest change we'd have in the near future. Yeah. It's probably putting that in. What about you guys? Question. Oh. My oh. Gee. <laughs> we might have some new guests. I don't. Know, I'm not sure. Like we'll probably bring Pan Pizza back again oh. at some Yay. point. Princess. Go on. What is your question? Right. Uh, so I have two questions, but they're like fairly in the show. Good. We'll be good. Um, so, one, will there ever be a Bronies React to Bronies React? You know, <laughs> if you uh, have ideas. You should have done that for April Fools. <laughs> I was busy <laughs> making a song parody to Zootopia. Um, I I wouldn't put it past for possibly the anniversary um, when when the uh, first one turns five. I've I've thought about it. Um, it would just be, I need to figure out how to do it. Maybe like bring the original cast back and see like, oh, it's is like, this something like we can laugh make at? everybody watch. Every single one. Because <laughs> <laughs> binge watch all brothers. <laughs> Literally every. Good real. luck. They're luck only an hour eight, each. So there's 20. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> I get like three three hours of footage from every game time, every per time, react. No, every time uh, somebody calls, no whacking by no scratch. <laughs> I mean, vinyl scratch, no way. You don't like. Yeah, so you just did vinyl scratch. It happens. So yeah, it's it's. I I wouldn't put it past it, but it definitely I wouldn't make it like a normal thing. But <laughs> maybe it's like kind of a, a funny joke at some point to look back. That's why, like I mentioned in the last panel, how I don't typically go back and watch them yeah. myself because I like to save. Like I made, I made a movie back in high school that I haven't watched in about four years, and. I want to do like a react to that, like probably just a personal my, myself, just kind of like going, oh, what the heck was I doing here? But yeah, so I'm, I'm considering that for maybe a 100k special, but I'll never get there, so no worries. Um, and my other question, <laughs> and my other question was, um, if you could add like one category to like a convention, like a, like, a, like a My Little Pony convention, whatever, mm. what do you, like a, a part that you think would be like fun or like, a bounce house. Gladiator Derby. Gladi Gladiator Combat. Demolition Derby. Demolition Derby? Yeah. If they supply the cars, let's do this. They may like some public Rock'em Sock'em Ponies. <laughs> you know, I watched uh, a scene from that Rock'em Sock'em robot movie. Real Steel. Real Yeah, well, let's be honest. I saw that. <laughs> yeah. There's Real a, plastic. There's a scene where Hugh Jackson's a robot punches a bull. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He punches a it's like, wow. That sounds like a good it takes movie. It's really awkward. It takes place in the future. Yeah, in the future, but they're like fighting like a rodeo. <laughs> wow. All right. Yeah. All right, thank you for your question. Yeah. All right. Um, oh, we got another. Go on. Yeah. What does the internet have to say? Uh, Alec Greer, who's also another regular to post podcasts, um, which would AC Race Best rather give up, NASCAR or Zootopia? Zootopia. Zootopia. See, the, the problem is I have a career NASCAR. No, well, I, no, my career is mechanical engineering, but I, I work with uh, racing a lot, so I'd give up NASCAR. AC Zootopia. No, that's cruel. That's a cruel joke. Tell Alec that he's on my naughty list. 
Um, yeah, no, I, I, I do uh, race car announcing. Um, my, my best friend and I have a, uh, we, well, we do the low budgets, uh, which is a series on my channel where we do demolition derbies and I paint up my cars like ponies from the show and um, various other cartoon characters. And, uh, but what we do is we do live video feed of the racing and we've been doing it since about, well, the last two years, but we've been doing videos at these tracks since 2008. And I've been going to racing my whole life. So it's literally like a, a part of me so, so am I allowed to like, am I allowed to like, like at, at night, like, look at Zootopia? No. Like, okay, no one's looking. <laughs> Sneaking on the screen. Zootopia car. Why do I have to give it up? Okay. That was cruel. Did you ever see the Chicago area's Team Demolition Derby? No. Ah, 66 Speedway Juliet, man. It's, it's roller derby with cars. Really? Nice. I like it. Yes. All right, so there's not a photo going on in this panel here. So I linked a picture to both of your Twitter accounts, I, and honestly. I will ask I will ask you to contemplate this: a grilled cheese donut. Would you eat that? You yes. had me at grilled cheese, but then we went a weird direction. <laughs> I had one on very Tuesday. Odd you had one. I had one on Tuesday. How was it? it yeah, it's that hard good, to huh? explain. It's. It's an experience. Cheese with sweet stuff. No, there's been uh, like cheese with apple pie. It sounds crazy, but it makes the apple pie taste better. It's it's a contrast. Is it kind of like salt on watermelon? Exactly. Okay. There's certain Salad foods like peanut butter and pickles. So would you eat? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't like pickles, so I've already had a bias. But yeah, I mean, I don't personally eat that stuff, but I've been talking. You know, mustard gas and cyanide. You know, it's great. But you know. Uh, but yeah, like putting slices of like sharp cheddar cheese on apple pie makes it taste sweeter. So would you eat the grilled cheese donut? Absolutely. I'd try it. <laughs> I'd try it. I'd, I'd try it too. What about you, Paleo? What? He only eats like once donut. every three months. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I like grilled cheese and I like donuts, so sure. All right. So logically. All right. I like pizza and I like Go cereal, ahead. so. <laughs> Back to Twitter again. Um, this one's a simple question from Jake Wyman. Jake Wyman? Oh, yeah. Um, how many brownies can each of you eat in seven minutes? How many are there? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, I'd say I could eat seven in seven minutes, one in a minute for each How big are the brownies? Yeah, how big are the brownies? Yeah, uh, I don't know. What are, what are our weapons? That's a long question. <laughs> what is the arena? I'd say like seven to ten for me. Are they bloodlusted? Can I climb a tree? Are they, are they, are they, are they horse-sized or duck-sized? <laughs> <laughs> Do I have pack time? I've got to know the details, Paleo. How many details can you have on Twitter? <laughs> that's a good point. You can tweet more than once if you want. That's, that's, their, that's the Twitter person's problem. Um, I don't know. If I was hungry, I could. Yes. Yes, I could. Absolutely. <laughs> I think I could. I think it, I don't know. Do we no, get not, milk? Not Do we get milk? I'm going to say yes. How big are they? <laughs> then I'd, I'd go 14. Uh, Wait, how big are they? Uh, uh, let's, see, let's say about that big. Okay. 14. Uh, I wouldn't. I would. I would regret it later. But fourteen. Fourteen. So mm. two for each minute. He's gonna hold us up to this, you know, at some point, and be like, "Yeah, guys, said." I think. The thing is, the thing about sweet food is, it's. I feel like over time you get, you get sicker with that than you would get with like savory food. Yeah. Can I? Can I interject here? Yeah. Did anyone see? Um, Saber and I are going to be going to Babscon in a few weeks. And uh, Babscon is in San Francisco, and a company that's out in, that originated in San Francisco is Ghirardelli's Chocolate Company. Yep. Um, did any of you see my promo I made for that? Yes. Oh okay. yeah. So I, I poured base. <laughs> the picture is actually hilarious. Sure. I'm in the kitchen, and the premise is I have chocolate being poured on my face throughout my entire promo. And uh, it started out with me, like, with my mouth wide open. And the way that we made this work is my girlfriend was literally standing on top of our counter holding up this chocolate syrup, <laughs> just squeezing it, and in my mouth it went. And I realized since I started with me going like this, you know, with my mouth wide open, the chocolate had to go somewhere. And I tried to swallow it, and it was like, my mouth was like half full of chocolate syrup. And I realized how quickly, or very quickly, how bad of an idea that was. <laughs> it was really awesome because his neighbor's walking like out, you know, past their door. Christopher walking. and looks in the window and it's like, what is, what are they people in the thumbnail image that it was blood instead of chocolate. And they're like, what did he hit his head on? Oh, 
Yeah. <laughs> it was a very strange video. How many yes. takes did it take? Yeah, he didn't want. No, yeah, that that only happens in one. It has to happen <laughs> once. There's no. There's no. Put the chocolate back in my bottle. <laughs> <laughs> so, All right. What do we got? What's your question? I don't know if this has been asked before, but since you host the uh, Semi Perfect podcast, why have you found Android 18 yet? <laughs> oh my god, that's great. It's a Dragon Ball Z reference. That's a legit. See, I wouldn't have known that until you told me. I haven't seen Dragon Ball Z, but that I love that there was a connection here. Semi Perfect podcast, Semi Perfect Cell, yeah. That's great. Uh, Jack's played me with that joke before. The one of these episodes where I find her and absorb all the droids and become perfect podcast. I have a deep cell voice. But that's the point. All right. What is the internet? Um, Drummer Shy, another regular. Uh, he asks, what has been the best part of Chicago so far? People drive on the medians. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> what the heck, guys? What's up with that? Is that oh, okay, question. Who, who here is from the area? Okay. Those middle parts of your road, were those medians? You guys are like, eh, we'll just drive on them after who, all. Who, who needs medians? Seriously, I'm, I'm a serious question. Y'all, like, are those like, desert? I, I haven't seen that in any other state. They are have those, little curbs. Are those turning lanes? Or? Well, it depends on their height. Get your car off the <laughs> so, so it's not until you try to pull onto it that you found out, oh, that was a curb. Oh, that's illegal. <laughs> Wait, so it's the cops don't care? No. What? No. That's awful. There's a yellow line that it's, means. It's you <laughs> for proceeding your own risk. I like this. Yeah, I was gonna it's, say, it's just the road. Make up your own rules. I, I, I gotta oh, say, like, one it. thing that we've been talking a lot about is uh, how odd, like, no joke, how off. How awesome all the people have been! Like, like everyone's been like really upbeat. It's been a really fun convention, and uh, you gave us water <laughs> bottles. So the the people have been and a great candy. part of Chicago. Napkins, candy. And sharpies, and pens, and sharpies, and pens, and, and napkins, and rainbow dash, rainbow dash, rainbow dash. Rainbow dash. Yeah, no, it's the people. The people are great. I got yeah. into a moment yeah. there. Good people. Um, okay, hope you don't talk. Hope you don't mind talking about ponies here. Okay, uh, How dare we you. love talking about ponies. <laughs> I think this is. Okay, actually, technically they're not ponies. Actually, humans. Um, what is your favorite shadow ball from uh, Friendship Games? My favorite shadow, shadow ball. ball. Yeah, from, you know those characters from Crystal. Oh, oh yeah. what was that Crazy. one girl? The one that that couldn't like. Not. It was like she was from Liar Liar. Oh. Oh, so sour, sour sweet sugar coat. Su sugar coat. Sugar coat. Sugar coat. Sugar, I loved sugar coat. She was so. Late. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> well, she's she's so yeah. honest. I guess she's so point blank yeah. with you. She's like Applejack, only better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Except she tells the truth. Oh. oh. <laughs> I ain't got a sugar coat. Am I gonna make it out of the hotel? Hey, sugar coated apples. <laughs> <laughs> You ship Next it. ship, I'll ship that. Yeah. What's that? I'll ship that. There you go. Yeah. Who's your favorite shadow ball? Uh, lemon zest. The one with the headphones. Oh. Lemon zest sounds yeah. like a... Did you say the one with the head crumbs? Headphones! <laughs> oh, I was like, head crumbs. That sounds like a condition that you need to get, like, head and shoulders for. How dare you it's say that about my wife boo, man. <laughs> What's that? How dare you say that about my wife boo. I'm sorry. I apologize. But when you said her name first, I, I thought, like, that sounds delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a person. Never mind. <laughs> All right, thank you for your question. Okay, peace and love. Right. You too, man. Uh, there's another question from Jumper Shine here. This is interesting. Oh? Um, because we kind of have a story for it. Uh, did you see any weird stuff at the con? If so, what was the weirdest part of the convention? Okay, yeah, story time. So, uh, we... I don't know which story you guys are going to come up with, so I'm excited too. <laughs> you were there. No, I know, but we've seen a couple interesting things. <sighs> okay, so we went to Steak and Shake last night. Um, okay, we, so this is a good yeah. One. This one's interesting. <laughs> like off the bat, we were getting like stories, you know, that we're gonna be sharing later. So, Ray yeah. got in late. He got in around like one thirty or so at the hotel. Yep. He was hungry. was hungry, so we got in the car with um, our friend Drew, who drove myself, Ray, Paleo, and our friend Sydney to Steak and Shake. That's twenty four seven. Cool. Seemed like a great idea. He he's. The, you're the one who told us to. No, I'm not saying that it, I, it, he was it not, seemed like a great idea. He was blinded by hunger. So, uh, Steak and Shakes, I, they're in Georgia, so they're not, you know, like, oh, I've never seen this before. Uh, same thing with Paley, you've had them, but you never had. I have no, never. I had no, no, yeah, a couple of us no. had Hush, I'm been. speaking for you. Oh. So, Paley's never had them before. Yeah, so we, we roll up, first off we get to the, the drive-thru, and I forget, for some reason we didn't just stick with the drive-thru. Well, because, uh, 
what was that order? I, we wanted to do separate we, orders. Yeah. Oh yeah, separate drive, To which the guy said you couldn't do, which I'm quite certain he's lying. So we were like, oh whatever, what the hey, we'll go inside. Yeah. Oh. This okay. is when everything took a turn. We should have stayed in the drive-thru and just bit the bullet. Behold, the most <laughs> uncaring, chilled out, unprofessional, steak and shake staff, possibly fast food staff we've ever encountered, ever met. It's weird, we stood there waiting, you know, there's a the chicken finger and fry just spilled on the floor, just near the exit. And we're like, okay, there's nobody coming up to see us. There's food on the tables everywhere. There's employees left. sitting at the tables. The employees sitting at the tables just <laughs> like, on their phones. And we have our host walk up. His shirt's untucked. He's got a Pokeball hanging from his belt. <laughs> uh, this is nowhere near I'm as bad as it gets. I'm not joking. Nowhere near as bad as it gets. He walks up and he's all chummy with us. Which is, you know, I work in, I've worked in the food industry. I'm currently a barista at Starbucks, so I get it. Like, I, I get the service industry, I do. So I have a lot of patience with it. Um, so the guy walked up, he's like, you know, who, you know, how's it going guys? And at first, like, we want us down in a booth, and he's like, looking at the restaurant, deliberating. Well, he's like, well, you all can sit there, pointing at a table, because he didn't want to clean up the booth. And we're like, no, we'll take the booth. <laughs> to which he's like, okay, and sits us down. Uh, five minutes pass, he finally comes up to us to take our order. And he sits down with us. He just straight up sits down and he's like, hey, so what do you guys, he's like, what do you guys want to eat? How y'all doing? What's going on, guys? And I think he was on something. I really he do. Was, he was just way too like, hey guys. He's way too relaxed. Like if I was like an angry So you're, like, here, you're here to get some food? Yeah. I was here for food. He food. sat down. Oh, here's, the, here's, the, here's, the, here's the booth. Okay, so Paleo and Reyes are sitting here. He pulled up a chair. Sydney and Drew are sitting there. I'm sitting here in a chair, and he pulled it. You know, How's it going? <laughs> sitting next to you. Uh, so, because there's certain times in your life where you're like, I just want to eat, and I want to go to sleep. That's what I want at three in the morning. So um, he takes our orders um, painstakingly. He, he gives us the menu, he's like, I'll be back in a bit, and I'll give you all a couple minutes. He had like a comment for each order, and he's like, um, you He starts to, making like, kind of a bar? milkshake. Yeah, and then, then, then he kind of dirty with his jokes. He's like, yeah, that's what she said. Milkshake. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> Are they good? Oh. They're Let's pretty just good. Say, they're creamy. They're world famous. <laughs> <laughs> so, this, it, gets, it gets worse. So, uh, we finally... <laughs> It does. It, 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 like, it, no, there's a moment where things just kind of like. Oh, let me tell we're, you. Well, we're getting so uh, we order milkshakes. Race orders a milkshake and a burger and yeah. fries. And um, he comes back. He gives us the milkshakes. Then he walks away. Comes back again. And he walks up next to us. And now, and now he, before before you move on here, just just once we got the milkshakes. Now you hammered down. I destroyed mine. Oh, we had this other random guy he's like, "Oh, you finished? That's fast." <laughs> yeah, you go. Out of nowhere, it's the guy from the back, and he's and then he never see him again. <laughs> and he's so excited about how fast he ate the milkshake. He's like, he's like, you did, did you did you scoop? Did you scoop? You go from top to bottom, <laughs> top to bottom. And don't get me wrong, like I'm I'm doing this with an accent, but the like, guy <laughs> from top to bottom, leave me alone. <laughs> like he just he just looked like a regular Chicago resident, but he was like. You need to scoop from the top to the bottom. Did you do that? Hey, you need to do your job. Go <laughs> so here's the worst part. All right, or here's the weirdest part. Okay, this is where it gets. So, our waiter returns, walks up to us. We see his hand motion towards the table, and he. No, first he asked if we're allergic to. That's right. Yeah. He said, "Are you all allergic to anything?" He was specific. He said something. Like something like M M13 or something like that. It's probably like that. Uh, kind of Pokemon move you can learn. So then he moves his hand towards the table, drops a little pill capsule, and pulls his hand away. And he, goes, <laughs> not kidding. And he says, I put that on your drinks. <laughs> like he, he opened it up and was like, I put it in your milkshakes. And we're just like, <laughs> who does that. <laughs> and the food industry. I was blown away. We were all shocked. Because we're, we're goofsters. We like to laugh. But we're all like, silence. This is after we've finished drinking. I don't know if he's lying. I don't know if he's 
joking because he told me, you know, I'm like, you keep working on that stand up bit of yours. But uh, we couldn't tell if he was being honest or not because I'm like, are we going to die? <laughs> like, what did you just put in our drinks? And then, and then he's like, no, I'm just kidding. And he, he kind of puts it back together. He's like, the guy in the back just took this. And we're like, wait, if you take a capsule, don't you typically just... Uh, How did he take snorts? <laughs> well, like, what do you mean he just it? Why are you telling us this? And he's like, um, do you want to keep the capsule? And I'm yeah, like, oh, I can't do For evidence. Because <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, getting really weird. Um, you, you don't do that. I'm not making this up. You don't, you don't do that. Especially in the food industry. Okay, You can have fun. You can, you know, there's a certain line you cross. And not, he didn't cross. He sprinted a mile from that line. Hey, guys, I got to... And he never once said April Fools, like, by the way. Matter. Like, I was waiting for that. Yeah, I <laughs> know, that was an April Fools. No, I don't know. we're like, April Fools. He's like, <laughs> yeah, Is that, is that today? <laughs> is that today? That's what, that's what she said. Yeah, he said that too. Whatever. So, uh, it's, it's I, just all... the, we finally got out of there. We finally checked out. We finally left. That we was... made it home, thankfully. I was I was waiting for us to all just all of a sudden wake up, well, like I... in the back room of this. <laughs> or not wake up at all. You went and like the bathroom was dirty. Everything the bathroom was, dirty. was like just nuked. Everything was awful. Like uh, if a health inspector walked in, they probably would have started crying. <laughs> like like in that Native American commercials. <laughs> but no, it was a horrible experience. I would not recommend going to Steak and Shake, especially that one at three in the morning. It's down the way. Uh, like yeah. if you leave the hotel and take a left down the road, you'll see it. It's like coffee uh, planet Walmart. place. Yeah, near the Walmart. Ooh, and watch out for the Pokeball. <laughs> yeah, the Pokeball is the to go. <laughs> Thank you, Trevor Shy. Yeah. Uh, so you got a question? Sorry for keeping you waiting. Go ahead. Um. Okay. This is true. Hi. So, um, would you rather fight? <laughs> I want to answer. They're all fighting. Good. We'd rather fight one um, horse-sized duck oh. or a hundred <laughs> duck-sized horses. I would just fight a hundred duck-sized horses. You already asked that, that question. Hold on, I'm gonna pull up some. Duck-sized yeah, horses because we can kick them and stuff. Right. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna pull up some here in a bit. So the hundred duck-sized horses. And then I have another question. Let's hear Okay, so if Twilight's like the princess of friendship and Celeste and Celestia's like the princess of the sun and all that princess, what would you guys be princesses of? Zootopia! High cholesterol! No, the dolphins? <laughs> princess. I'm glad that we made it to princess status finally. I like how we just play. I'm gonna go. All right, what's your online one? Do, do you got then, something? No. No. What? Do you not have an online one? No. Okay, good. Okay. Um, so first I just wanted to point out that like one of the best parts of the Ronnie's react to the question of girls was uh, AC continuing complaining about <laughs> Rainbow Dash saying awesome. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, that is awesome. Stop saying that, Rainbow Dash. <laughs> It's, yeah, in the first Equestria Girls movie, like Rainbow Dash was like she couldn't describe something without the word awesome. So she'd be like, like you know, at the dentist, and the guy's like drilling her tooth. Is like, does that hurt? And she's like, it's awesome. It's like, no, it's not. What are you doing? Why is everything awesome? It's, and then they, yeah, you know, for some reason, everything was awesome. Watching the Lego movie. Yeah. yeah, everything was awesome. Yeah, exactly. Everything's um, awesome. Try everything. <laughs> Not at all. I don't know how like the process of like the editing goes and like who sees what and like how detailed you guys for see the, for the reaction. Like, if you keep guys, yeah, or if you guys, if you guys keep each other from like seeing them. Um, but I want to know what Saber Sparks reaction was to uh, animated James uh, uh, making fun of his uh, uh, what do we call portal bit. Yeah, and animated James was all like. Oh, just a normal day. Oh, no. But at least someone's <laughs> continuing this storyline. <laughs> Someone. Uh, Hello, James. For, for the record, none of the reactors see what the other reactors are doing, which is part of the fun because sometimes jokes line up perfectly together. Like, there was one, um, I, think, I think it was like somebody made a joke about something being sold separately, and, oh, yeah. and I think it was Brony Dance Party and Little Shy made the same joke. And so I spliced their yeah, like yeah. like the thing, and I cut it right where they both yeah, were saying the same thing. So sometimes it just it just happens to work out. Other times, sometimes people coordinate things, 
Um, like if there's a joke, like we got to do this. Um, but but typically it's nobody sees the footage except me until it gets released. So what was your uh, re reaction to the animated? Jokes? I loved it. I love that guy. He's hilarious. <laughs> He's a great comedian. All right, thank you. Thank yep. you. I have a question for you all. Okay. okay. So I said I was gonna look up some of those who would win thread questions. All right. So here's the situation. Deadpool gets into Equestria. Can he kill all the ponies, or will he fail? Is it possible for him to defeat all the ponies? Yes. Yeah, Could he want to kill all of them? It's, it's impossible. No. Why? Could he do it? No. Yes. He would be sent to the moon. I know how much you like to call just this. Just Team Deadpool. And it's over. We know, that, we know how well the Tartarus like security system is, so he's oh, got a pretty good true. shot at this twice. Almost as good as the security section for the heart of the Crystal Empire. <laughs> <laughs> you know, maybe we should have done something about like that. Like a toy deal. Like, <laughs> it's like a baby, like a gate, you know, Tyrion can, you do not leave this corner. Tyrion's <laughs> 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 No, I, I would imagine that Deadpool would be in trouble. Yeah, because he's basically just an Earth Pony with swords. Like if Twilight got serious, I personally I feel like he can get obliterated by Twilight. Personally, but if it's something like Spike, <laughs> no, no, he won't get obliterated by Twilight. Basically, she'll sit him down and be like, "Why don't you join the main seven? <laughs> Starlight, you're fired." Uh, we we understand that you have these problems, but we're very forgiving here. <laughs> don't worry. Most forgiving heroes I've ever met. <laughs> Unless you aren't a pony and then you get thrown into hell. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Tarek. You had your shot. Tarek's like, I'm really sorry. <laughs> You're not normal. Get out of here. <laughs> what do you got? Uh, I've got two questions. One's like a follow up. Are we allowed to discuss season six? Is the first question. Uh, when you say that, do you mean like what we've seen so far? Yes, what we've seen so far. Uh, yeah, but I would imagine anyone that showed up to a pony convention and didn't watch last week's episode is brave. So. I'm just making sure because some people may not want. I mean, I, I won't. I won't straight up. Well, do you want to save for Bernie's reaction? What? Don't you want to save some of our, I guess, responses from Bernie's reaction? Oh well, I, I don't know what the question is yet. Oh my god, go ahead. Two. Okay, so how completely useless are Luna and Celestia? Absolutely. Because... They're useless. I'm sorry, I'm being honest, guys. What are they, what, what, they Luna, make Luna's crazy. done some good things here and there, but Celestia, there was that one time where she like almost fought Chrysalis. I'm like, fine. What did Luna do while she was not evil? She was an actuary. No, they fought, they fought this okay. Okay. What's that? Because I'm pretty this sure... Yeah. I'm pretty sure we think they're strong only because they move the sun and the moon. I want an episode where a science pony, voiced by Bill Nye the Science Guy, <laughs> discovers that they actually have no magic and that the sun and the moon are doing it themselves the entire time, and Celestia's like, goes on some alcoholic rampage where she's just like, I'm living a lie. <laughs> Luna doesn't actually do anything to dreams at all. She's just. But then again, so Twilight was moving in. What's that? But then again, Twilight was moving in in that episode. Then she got all the power. Twilight it was is different. That's what Red Conning is for. Let's, let us remember that whenever anything happens, it's like, huh. oh man, I need to go to the grocery store. Hey, Twilight! <laughs> like, they don't. They always, every issue that comes up is Twilight. Seriously, no, it's like, uh, there's a. A new demonic monster who's a resident in Equestria. Would that make them These good leaders, though? This would be a though? good lesson for Twilight to like, learn. Like think, would it make them good leaders, though? Like, even if they don't have that power, the fact that they can delegate... You know what cracks me up is how there's actually a princess and there's a freaking mayor. Well, well. well, but they have to tell Twilight to do it, so I mean... Oh, wow. I want there to be, like, like a revolt. Like, the... <laughs> like, a new revolution, you know, Vive Revolution. Uh, with like the French ponies, and they want to overthrow <laughs> Celestia and bring an end to her. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Bring it's the like, equalists uh, back. back. What's that? Bring the equalists back. Exactly. Oh, revolution. Yeah, 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 she was onto something. So yeah. yeah. We're all equal. Perfect. Thank, Thank you. you. I like those kind of questions. Yes. Okay. Um, my question: Have any of you ever played the game Undertale? Yes. Yes. They have. They have. They have. <laughs> they have. It's fun. I love it. Okay. So. For you guys that have played it, who, which of the characters would you connect to a character from the show? Sans is like um, Pinkie Pie. No, he's not. <laughs> it was really bad when I said that. 
Is there anyone else here that knows Undertale? Because I, I just know the one yeah. name. I, I mean, uh, I mean, I'd say <laughs> Everyone Papyrus. took my answer so Papyrus serious. is more like Genki Pie, if anything. I wouldn't know. I don't yeah, care. Then don't talk about it if you don't know about it. Jerk. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, uh, what's your favorite character? <laughs> um, my favorite character is Sans. Yeah? That's, great. Like, that's why he was pissed off when I said that. <laughs> <laughs> that's with my character. He's like, <laughs> you're wrong. Yeah. Uh, what do you pay them? I'm trying to think. I think Undyne would probably be a lot like Rainbow Dash. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I agree. And then Alphys would be Fluttershy, and then the whole Flutter Dash oh, and yeah. Undyne. Oh, wow, you're actually right. See, he's yeah. already thought about this. He, he just wanted to confirm it with you guys. <laughs> like, all right, I'm good. Cool. Thank you for your question. I'm not vindicated. What's up? Okay, since I just found out that you like NASCAR, I have to know who's your favorite NASCAR driver. You just found out that I like NASCAR? Yes, I just did right now. Like, well, good. Nasty. Now's a good time. Okay, so prior to the season, uh, I'm, I'm very big with supporting like local drivers or drivers that I watched grow up through the ranks. Uh -huh. um, he's not driving this year, although I'm excited about the future. But David Gilland, even though he's a like with a low-budget team and... and Constantly, ra I keep laughing at my answer. Cause yeah, you, you him. You hear this? I hey, I I support the low budgets big time, which is why I love like Daytona and Talladega when anyone can win, cause everyone's a winner. Anyways, the um, so Gillen, I full support. Uh, same with Colwitt. Like they they might not be driving for great cars, but they're drivers that I I watched grow up through uh, the ranks out in Southern California. So for me, it's like they get my support. I don't care if they're racing for thirtieth. It's like go guys. However, uh, the driver that would be considered a contender would be Kurt Busch. So he's your all-time favorite? I, I, if you'd like to put it that way, yes. Terry Levani was my driver when I was a kid. But. Dude, he's mine too because he won the, the cup in the year I was born, 96. It's crazy. I, uh, Terry Levani. Yeah. 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 96, woo! Nice. You were born in 96. I was eight. <laughs> Godspeed. Uh, time flies. <laughs> What's up? I was wondering what, uh, what you would, who would win in a fight, Goku or Satan? Oh, Goku would destroy him. Absolutely. Yeah. You, you all familiar with One Punch Man? No? Yeah? yeah? No, yeah. no? Okay, uh, this is like usually the question is Goku versus Superman. Superman. Yeah, you think so? Yeah. Why? Because I saw Death Battles. They're wrong! <laughs> <laughs> There's no sources for the. Uh, you know, uh, Saitama? I mean. What has he done? He punched away an attack that might have like blown up the surface of the Earth. Versus Goku, who punches so hard that he actually blew up a galaxy. I think Goku might beat him, unfortunately. But hey, you know, who knows what the future of the show, according One Punch Man. What's that? According to the creator of One Punch Man, he can destroy the universe. I heard that. The thing is, like, no. one, that's not about Saitama is he's this anti, like, fun, not anti-fun, but he's like one of those characters where he's like, well, okay, well, no matter what, he's going to win. Ever, you know, no matter what. Exactly, that's that's the joke. You put him in you know, uh, Saitama versus God. <laughs> that, oh, okay. That's the fun about fiction, I suppose. Anything can go. Thank you. Hello again? Hello. Tell me the question. Ask it would be the right way so, to say that. Tell me the question. Tell me the question. It's like a challenge. Bring it. Bring it on. We'll hear it. It is a Looks challenge. So, um, if you could have a t-shirt that made out of any one kind of food, what would it be? Fruit <laughs> rolls. <laughs> yeah, they can just tear How long do you have to wear the shirt for? Um, I'm gonna say three days. Oh, come on. <laughs> Drew, that's, that's, what about you, Drew? <laughs> Drew, we need to know. Jello shirt. <laughs> Blue cheese. <laughs> that would smell so bad after day one. You're gonna wear it for three. But I like blue cheese, so okay. I'm gonna say beef jerky because it's like the closest thing oh, to yeah. leather, and it, it won't go Some bad. Some poor cow's gonna look at you and start tearing up. He's wearing my lady. mother as a shirt. <laughs> yes, and she's delicious. <laughs> uh, bread. <laughs> Actually, that would be. Fairly comfortable. It fall apart in like a minute. <laughs> yeah, <it would. laughs> it it the rain. yeah, exactly. I better be in California then. Hey, did you ask? Yeah, you I said, said, said fruit roll. Yeah, I said fruit roll. So <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I could just like tear stuff off and just eat it for the three days. <laughs> yes. Who is more terrifying, um, the fandom version of Pink Mina 
or the newborn cutie version of Scootaloo. Newborn cutie, I don't even know what you said. Newborn cutie. I don't know what you said. That thing was like a little <laughs> demon. It was. It's like what they base a lot of those movies now that come out. The horror movies were like, yeah, the the little cute girl yeah, that's yeah, like yeah. starts teleporting everywhere, and it's like, oh, you're creepy. All right, we have two minutes. It's your, it's your question. Scooby okay. Is a demon. Um, uh, this question for anyone who hasn't seen the season premiere of season six. My spoiler. What are your thoughts on Flurry Heart being the first? Natural oh God! Disaster. You gave him one Not minute to point. answer this question. Dude, well, I'm glad that Hasbro is sponsoring McDonald's as a new drink. <laughs> <laughs> it's both delicious and healthy. <laughs> and then Starburst, you know. Uh, I don't like her. To be honest, I don't like her. I think that episode was so cluttered. But it's just one episode out of what twenty six. So. Hi, Dad. Drew, we you missed our story about uh, Steak and Shake. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drew was a witness to this. He can testify. It was awful. Are you talking about the, the waiter? Or? The capsule. The, oh, my God. I, I, <laughs> have you felt funny today? A little bit. Yeah? Yeah, we're all... I checked on my own, so. We're all, we're all going to wake up in a weird building someday and be like, what happened? Where's my kidney? Yeah. In fact... Why do I have an extra one? Uh, yeah. And, I, you know, I, I've heard a lot of people... And I, maybe this is just me not knowing what everyone else knows, but having just watched episodes of the sh all the episodes of the show up to now, uh, to me it didn't bug me as much as other people that an alicorn was born, only because I was like, well, I don't think any other alicorn that we know of has had a kid, so why are we like freaking out about it? Yeah, to me, to me it's not the fact. That Celestia she's, and Luna don't have children. Yeah, it's, yeah. Not, it's not the fact that she's an alicorn to me. It's just the fact that she's annoying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had, she, did she even have a line? <laughs> she sneezed and blew a hole in my ceiling. Uh, that's pretty annoying. <laughs> they put a... It's annoying. She's the reason for the conflict in the episode. Yeah. Which, yeah, she should have been the only She's the conflict. Kylo Ren of the season. It's highest in message to the kids. Wear protection. Oh my god. You know, that's... I, I gotta admit, I kind of got that vibe at the end of the episode. <laughs> oh, shining armor! I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that. I'm gonna make a Trojan commercial. Oh, Trojan! <laughs> the one. Yeah. Oh, well, instead, now you, we have to hold you to it. Mr. Shining I Armor. Shining I, I said, I say a lot of things. His heart was a little bit too pokey. All right. Well, on that. <laughs> yes, actually, we talked about like poor cadence. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Like, giving imagine birth, that giving birth to something that has wings and a horn. And all she has is messed up hair. <laughs> and, oh yeah, and then she then she's like, oh well, my my husband here is is losing it, so I'll just take the reins here. I gave birth three hours ago. That's this is fine. typical procedure for most actual births in the hospital. <laughs> the husband's like, oh, I'm so stressed out. And the mother's like, really? <laughs> so yeah, I think uh, that's that. That's the Thank wrap. You for your Guys, thank you for joining us for our semi-perfect POS Ooh. podcast panel. We have a Who's Line panel uh, tomorrow at 10 a.m. amongst some other goofball panels that... Uh, we have a how-to YouTube panel happening tomorrow also. Yeah. Yes. and uh, Which I think is also in this room. Yes, yeah. it is. So, and then Sunday we'll be part of the community guest panel. So Yeah, and I yeah. think we... We'll, we'll keep if you follow us on Twitter, we'll keep you posted with our other panels. But thank you all so yeah. much for joining us. And thank you guys. Great convention, and we'll see you all around. All right? Yay. Thank you.